Hello, welcome back to Lifestyle and Net Worth. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at what your life would be if you were a member of the Swedish supergroup ABBA. From their rise to fame in the 1970s to their lasting legacy, ABBA has captured the hearts of music lovers all over the world with their catchy pop hits and iconic costumes. But what do the band members do when they're not performing on stage? You'll find out in this video. That when, when I'm going to sing, but there are also nice and, uh, I mean, more up-tempo song in this album, I must say. Agnetha Feltskog is the lead vocalist of the band. She has a net worth of $200 million. Over the course of her life, Agnetha has suffered from various mental health issues. Her mother's suicide in 1994 affected her greatly, and this was kept secret from the public while Agnetha tried to mourn and recover. She has a well-known fear of flying, which impacted her ability to tour with ABBA. During ABBA's early years, the group decided that she should use the name Anna because many non-Scandinavians found it difficult to properly pronounce Agnetha. Feltskog wrote her first song at the age of six, entitled Trasma Troll, Two Small Trolls. Feltskog has reportedly suffered from stage fright, fear of crowds in open spaces, and fear of heights, among others. During her solo career years, Feltskog would always travel by bus and experienced a bus accident on a Swedish motorway in 1983. The name Agnetha is the Scandinavian form of the name Agnes, a Greek name meaning pure. In July 1971, Feltskog married Bjorn Alvius. They have two children, Linda Alin Alvius, born 23 February 1973, and Peter Christian Alvius, born 4 December 1977. The couple separated in early 1979, and their divorce was finalized in July 1980. Faltzkog split from Alveus in 1979 greatly affected her, and she needed therapy afterward. Her second marriage in 1990 to Thomas Sonnerfeld was held privately and only became public knowledge when they divorced three years later. Faltzkog has four grandchildren. She lives in an estate on the island of Helga, west of Stockholm. She likely drives a Rolls Royce and a BMW. Never escape for, from what you once did when you were young. It's always there following you and it's a part of your daily life in a way. Annie Fried Frida Lingstad is a vocalist. Annie Fried Lingstad has a net worth of $300 million. In August 2017, Lingstad traveled to Tursela to claim her award from the Eskiltuna Music Prize 2014. According to Dagens Nihita and Sverges Radio, Lingstad has supported the Swedish Moderate Party. Lingstad is a vegetarian and a feminist. She remains involved in charity work and she is interested in environmental issues. She appeared in a Swedish Employers Association advertisement, Sata Pateguen, Invest in Yourself, in 1979, which caused controversy and objections, especially from Mikkel Wille, who rejected her offer to record a cover version of his song, Friken och Kraken, due to political differences in the 1980s. In January 1998, Lingstead's 30-year-old daughter Anne Louise Lott Fredrickson Casper died of injury sustained in a car accident in Livonia, New York, a town 20 miles south of Rochester. Through her marriage to Prince Royce of Bluen, who had been a student at the same boarding school as Crown Prince Carl Gustav, who later became the King of Sweden, Lingstad became acquainted with the Swedish royal family and eventually became close friends of Sweden's Queen Sylvia. In April 1964, 18-year-old Lingstad married salesman and fellow musician Ragnar Fridriksson. They had two children, Hans Ragnar, born 26 January 1963, and Anne Lee Slot, 25 February 1967, to 13 January 1998. They separated in 1968 and were officially divorced in May 1970. In 1969, Lingstad met Benny Anderson. By 1971, they were living together but did not marry until 6 October 1978. During the height of Abba's success, they divorced in 1981. Later, in 1986, Lingstad had relocated to Switzerland, where she lived with her royal boyfriend, Prince Heinrich Russo de Rus, Count of Ploden. 
They married in 1992, giving Lingstad the title of Princess Rus and Countess of Plauden. Seven years later, Lingstad became Dauger Princess and Countess following the death of Ruzo. In 1988, Lingstad became a grandmother when her daughter Anne Lee Slot and her American husband Charles Garrett Casper welcomed their son, Jonathan Casper. Since 2007, she has been in a relationship with British peer Henry Smith, 5th Viscount Hambledon. Since 2008, Lingstad has resided in Zermatt, Switzerland. She likely owns a Mercedes-Benz. Big a project to get, you know, to do, uh, but somehow it continued and, and the original vision. Bjorn Alvius is a guitarist and vocalist. He has a net worth of $300 million. Alvius studied business and law at Lund University after undertaking his military service, alongside comedian Magnus Holmstrom. In 2020, Bjorn Alvius has been appointed president of CISAC, the International Confederation of Societies of Authors and Composers. Alvius is one of four owners, along with Bergesla, of Noteheads, a Swedish company that publishes the music notation program Igor Engraver. Alvius is a member of the International Humanist and Ethical Union's Swedish member organization, Humanisterna, and was awarded their annual prize, Hedinius Preset, in 2006. Alvius describes himself as an atheist. He has appeared on several shows discussing his views about religion. Alvius suffered from severe long-term memory loss. However, in a 2019 interview, he stated that reports of his memory loss were hugely exaggerated. While filming a nostalgic Schlager special for television in March 1969, Bjorn met 18-year-old future wife and singer-songwriter Agnetha Feltskog. In July 1971, Alvius married Agnetha Feltskog. They had two children, Linda Aline Alvius, born 23 February 1973, and Peter Christensen Alvius, born 4 December 1977. The couple separated in early 1979, and their divorce was finalized in July 1980. Alvius married Aliana Kalerque on 6 January 1981. They have two daughters, Emma Eleonora, born 3 January 1982, and Anna Lania, born 29 April 1986. In February 2022, Alvius and Kalerque announced their separation. He has an extensive portfolio that includes properties across Europe. In 2014, it was reported that Bjorn had acquired a property in Stockholm that houses the ABBA Museum and the Swedish Music Hall of Fame. This purchase also included the acquisition of Melody Hotel. Alvius and his wife also maintain a property in Jersholm, a suburban area near Stockholm that is considered the wealthiest and most exclusive community in all of Sweden. In keeping with their obvious penchant for island living, this residence exists on its own private island. He owns a Lexus 600. Given an accordion when I was six years old, my father also played the accordion. So I, joined, I, I, I think I learned pretty quickly. Benny Anderson is a keyboardist, pianist, and vocalist. He has a net worth of $230 million. Anderson struggled with alcoholism throughout most of his career and life. In 2001, he became a teetotaler, although he never fully revealed the extent of his alcoholism until much later in 2011. Anderson won the Swedish Gultbagen Award in 2012 as a composer of the music for the film, Palm. Anderson was engaged to Christina Gunvel. In 1963, they had a son, Peter, and in 1965, a daughter, Helene. The couple split in 1966. Anderson was in a relationship with Anifrid Lingstad of ABBA for about 11 years, from 1969 to 1980. They married on 6 October 1978, but separated on 26 November 1980 and divorced in 1981. He married Swedish TV presenter Mona Norklet in 1981 and had a son Ludwig, born January 1982. He lives in Stockholm, Sweden. He likely owns a Bentley and a Chevrolet.